What up squad, thanks for clicking on today's video. I have something special. I'm about to do something a little bit different today, right? You guys have an open mind, right? I'm experimenting here. I think this is gonna work out. Um, I'm gonna be speaking about 10 reasons why I hate it being fat. And the reason why I'm having this discussion with you guys is because the pain points, we have to talk about the pain. The pain is the reason why I had enough fuel. I, I reached my breaking point and I was able to, tra to transform my body because I was focused on the things that I hated about my current situation. And that gave me the energy, that gave me the motivation, that gave me the inspiration to make the changes permanently that now transform my body, you feel me? So, I, and, and that's the only reason why I'm talking about this. I want you guys to focus on these pain points because these pain points will drive you. They will drive you. Let's not ignore this stuff anymore. Let's not sweep the things under, you know, sweep all this stuff under the rug. Let's address the elephant in the room when it comes to being overweight, when it comes to our habits that have led us to have unhealthy bodies and minds and everything else, right? So that's the reason why I'm talking about this today. I hope it doesn't offend anyone. I used to be fat. I remember very vividly what it was like and I never want to forget because that's the reason why I'm consistent because I hate it being fat. And I'm gonna speak about 10 reasons that I hated being fat. Before I jump into the video, I have a mission guys. I wanna be a part of 1000 transformations. This is the mission that I've attached. The first level of the mission that I'm attaching to my, to my company, this is my personal goal. I wanna be a part of 1000 people's transformations. And we're doing this first and foremost through the, the Summer Body Series. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the Summer Body Series, not in this video, but I'm no longer, I'm, I'm about to change the way I do business, right? I've been in business now for three years on YouTube, pretty much almost, almost three years. And I've learned a lot. I have a big heart. I'm passionate about helping people realize that they can do anything they want with their body as long as they're willing to train their minds. And I've dealt with a lot of people who just weren't ready. Let me say that. I like to say that they were BSing, but I remember when I used to BS and it, it, it just was, I wasn't ready. So what I'm trying to do now is set up a business model that allow me to attract the customers who are ready. Because more importantly than money, don't get it twisted, I wanna make money. But more important than the money, I wanna make impact on people's lives. And in order for me to do that with my services, with my products, I have to attract people who are ready. So if you're ready, go to bricksfitness.com, I offer meal planning. I'll keep you guys posted with that. But all the information is in the description below for the people who are ready. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you're not ready, please don't go to bricksfitness.com. I don't want anything to do with anyone who isn't ready yet. I respect your process, but I want the people who are ready, right? Shout out to the Brick Squad members. These are some of the transformation that I have personally been a part of, or these are just Brick Squad members. And I have plenty more pictures where this came from. We have made a splash in this fitness industry, guys. We are changing lives and I'm excited about that. So shout out to every single person in, in these photos right here. You guys are killing it. Uh, shout out to all my, my current online coaching clients. Let's keep this thing going, right? So this video, I want you to focus. I want you to find how this stuff relates to you in your life. And I want you, I want to help bring you to your breaking point because these are the things that led me to my breaking point. And once I reached my breaking point, that was it. There was no turning back. So again, focus on, on your pain points. Let's, let's, let's focus on why we want to make these sustainable lifestyle choices. I'm going to say that again, sustainable lifestyle choices. We want to make pivots in our lifestyle. We want to make small changes that lead to big change over time right in our body in our finances in our lives so i'm going to be talking about some of these pain points man look at fat bricks man this dude at in this photo i was miserable it was hot anyway i'm gonna jump right into it reason number one is that my clothes didn't fit i'm into fashion 
I, I always wanted to to get fly. And as a fat boy, I had to overcompensate. I had to try to get fly because I was fat and I could I could not fit any of the cool clothes. I wanted to get into a size 34 straight cut or maybe even a skinny. Right. But it was not happening when I was fat. I could never fit the clothes that I wanted. I would go shopping and my, my the, the, the section that of clothes that I can fit in was very small. The, 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 the selection was very small and that used to bother me. I used to hate that. Right. I used to have to make my own clothes like this, this shirt, me and my squad, we made clothes that I can fit in order for me to, you know, feel fresh for me to feel like, you know, fly. Right. So these are some photos. So now look at these pants, man. I would not have imagined when I was 360 pounds, right? And mind you, in this photo right here, I'm 360 pounds, 360 pounds, big boy action. I would not have imagined in a million years that I would be fitting in these pants. Look at these pants. Lord have mercy. This was, this was like my dream. It was my dream, let alone to fill out this shirt. I wanted it really, really bad. And, and I focused on that. I hated not being able to fit clothes. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, I was always sweaty. Oh my God. It was the worst. When April came around, I was, I didn't leave my house. If it was over 70 degrees, bricks was in the house under the AC. And I love being outdoors now. I love hiking. I love camping. I would have never done any of that stuff. So I, I literally was living my life at 50% of, of my potential. I should say, I, like I wasn't enjoying life how I should have when I was fat and don't, let's not talk about sex. <laughs> I, I would, I would be on top of my girl and I would sweat so bad and I would drip sweat right into her eyes and she would get mad every single time. And that was one of the things that helped me reach my breaking point. Again, we want to reach our breaking point. Reason number three, and I'm not going to leave this photo up here long because I know it's disgusting. I used to chafe terribly under my stomach, in between my thighs, underneath my chest. The chafing was horrible and it was very uncomfortable and I hated it. Reason number four, I've always been into slim, pretty women and they were never into me. I didn't want to, I'm not going to offend anyone. My, my, my taste in women was always the athletic, cute, small, petite women. And they wanted no parts of this fat boy. I mean, once in a while I would find one who was a chubby chaser, but for the most part, the slim, cute women, they didn't, they didn't want fat breaks. They want, they want me now though. Reason number five, I was afraid to go to the doctor. The doctor told me one day that I was going to die. I had high blood pressure. I was by borderline diabetic and I never went back to the doctor ever since. I mean, I've gone since, but after I lost weight because he literally scared me, he scared me. I was afraid for my life, which was part of the reason a big part of the reason. And it wasn't for me. I didn't care about dying. I mean, that may sound bad, but if it wasn't for my children, I probably would have continued down that path and I, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys right now. Reason number six, I was always tired, bro. Always tired. At the end of the day, I had zero energy to do anything. I was just fall onto the couch and I would sink into that joint and I wouldn't get up until it was time to go into the bed. And my, and my kids, I had young kids at the time. My daughter was two years old, you know, and then when my son, my son came, came along, I had no energy to play with my kids. And it was a horrible feeling, man. Don't let's not talk about stairs. I, one flight of stairs and that was it. That was it. I avoided stairs like the plague. And so, yeah, reason number, so reason number six, yeah. I was always tired. I had no energy to do anything. Reason number seven, I couldn't get on roller coasters. 
I'm a big fan of roller coasters. I love going to amusement parks. I love taking my children to amusement parks. And it was one too many times where I try to get on certain roller coasters and I would get embarrassed. And I would hold up the entire ride while they had three people coming over to try to strap me in. And I was, I was over that. I was over it. Reason number eight, and I'm sorry for these, uh, this ugly photo. Matter of fact, let's switch it. But reason number eight is my feet would swell. But let's let's put these pretty feet back on the screen. I'm looking out for y'all. I know y'all don't want to look at these ugly feet. So reason, my feet would swell. If I, if I sat on an airplane, if I was on a bus for any time longer than three hours, my feet would start swelling. And I absolutely hated that. Reason number nine. I was the fat boy in my crew and I hated being the fat boy in my crew. There was no other fat person in my entire crew. And being a fat boy in the crew, you had, you always had to, to take one for the team. My real ones know what I mean. And I hated that. I didn't want to take one for the team. I didn't want to be the dude. Anyway, I hated being the fat boy in my crew. I had a young fly get money crew and I was the fat boy. I was kind of like the mascot. And it, it was whack. It was whack. Reason number 10. I had no confidence. My self-esteem was nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And I had to do something about this, right? It was causing problems in my relationship. I used to think my girl was going to cheat on me because my, my kid's mom, you know, at the time when I was overweight, she was small. She's small, you know? She was athletic i mean i'm not saying she was athletic but she just wasn't she wasn't a fat girl and she was very pretty and i used to think that she was gonna cheat on me and it, she she probably wasn't i mean i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> i know she did that's not her style that's but in my head because of my self-esteem issues anytime i seen uh you know i seen her glancing in the direction of someone who was in shape i would automatically assume that you know she was into him because i was fat so i had all these false thought, thoughts caused by my insecurities and i had to do something about this man so look again I'm, I'm talking about this stuff because these are the things that got me to my breaking point you have to reach your breaking point if you continue to ignore the things that are, are causing you discomfort in your life because of your weight, because of your lack of commitment to your fitness goals and to your nutrition goals. If you continue to just kind of sweep that stuff under the rug, you're not going to reach your breaking point. You got to focus on it. You got to you got to run towards that pain, that painful thought head on so that it can push you to make some changes in your life. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I'm going to do more videos like this. Matter of fact, comment below. Let me know if you like this style of video. Um, and as always, squad, I love y'all. Leave the video a big thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to the Get Well, Get Money podcast. Yeah. Shout out to everybody who listens to the Get Well, Get Money podcast. I love you guys. Uh, get well. Yeah. Get money. Get money.